Hi guys, this is Emmy. Um, it is Friday uh, about lunchtime and I have had several of you ask questions about um, the assignment for this week which was um, counting calories. And so I got to thinking, well goodness, why are so many people having questions about this? And I was looking through the chapter and realized that it didn't really explain how to do this and so I think it's valuable information so I am going to explain it um, to you so you can uh, so you can have an idea on how to do this assignment so when we're looking so I, what you see on my screen right now is the um, the assignment once you go into the assignment drop down box in um, D2L, so this is the first one for week one. So it says use the information from the nutrition label below, so this would be considered the nutrition label, to determine the total calories as well as calories from protein, fat, carbohydrate, and fat for one muffin. Okay, so once you have calculated these, then you're going to fill in the blanks on this nutrition label. So. I was flipping through chapter one and what I realized is is that it it doesn't tell you the calories per gram of each of those energy yielding nutrients. So we classify protein, carbohydrate, and fat as energy yielding nutrients. So those are those three uh, foods that you ingest that provide you with calories. We do, do not get calories from minerals. We do not get calories from vitamins. We do not get calories from water. Um, what we do, um, alcohol is the other one that is an energy yielding nutrient. So I'm going to kind of type this in here so you can see. Um, so carbohydrate yields four kcals per gram. Protein also yields four kcals, excuse my typing, per gram. Fat is a little bit more hefty and yields nine calories per gram. Alcohol, although we're not doing that, using this number in this assignment, yields seven calories per gram. Okay, so knowing this information then will allow you to calculate the calories from each of these nutrients. So from, um, from fat, what are the total calories from fat? So we know how many grams of fat are in one muffin, because we look on this nutri nutrition facts, and it says serving size is one muffin. So this nutrition panel is for one muffin. So in each muffin, there's two grams of fat. So I'm gonna do the first one for you and leave it at that, and you can continue on figuring out the next. So if we have two grams of fat, and we know that there is nine calories per gram, we're gonna multiply that, nine calories per gram of fat. We'll do some quick math, right? And that is 18 calories coming from fat. So you're going to use those steps using these numbers up here that I have given you um, to complete the rest of those. Uh, Percentage-wise, I will show you how to do that also. Okay, friends. So now that we've um, we have figured out how to, I'm going to highlight those. Let's see how can I do that? or put them in red maybe. So we know, okay, so that's what we're looking at here. Um, so now that we figured out how to complete one, two, and three, doing the multiplication, four, you're gonna add all those numbers up. So you have 
the calories from fat, you have calories from protein, and calories from carbohydrate. And that is going to be the total calories in the muff muffin because those are our only calorie yielding nutrients. Okay, so then the um, to fill in these percent daily value, DV is daily value. And daily value is what is um, on a nutrition label. And that is discussed in your text when it talks about nutrition labels. So visit that section. It is at the end of the chapter. If I can get there and give you a page number. But DVs are specific to a nutrition label. So at the very bottom here of the assignment and at the very bottom of a nutrition label too, it says percent daily values, DVs, are based upon a 2,000 calorie diet. So when we're reading a nutrition label, it is always based on a 2,000 calorie diet. Not all of us need 2,000 calories. Some people need more than 2,000 calories. So that's something to consider when you're looking at a nutrition label and that it isn't concrete, you know, absolute numbers for every person. This is an average um, that's generated by the FDA. Okay, so the daily value for fat for a 2,000 calorie diet would be 65 grams. The daily value for carbohydrate is 300 grams, again, based off of a 2,000 calorie diet. So if there's two grams of fat, and they're recommending 65 grams total, that percentage is what you're gonna put there. So two out of 65 is the percentage that you're gonna put there. And again here, total carbohydrate, 28 grams, and they're recommending 300 grams total in the day. Um, what percentage of your day is that? So you're gonna put that here. So 28 grams out of 300 and that will give you a percentage. Okay, so I hope that kind of clarifies um, this a little bit more. I will, um, along with this video, I will post on the homepage, I will also send out some links um, that explain this also. So hopefully this makes it a little bit better to understand. Email me though further if you have questions. Um, and happy Friday to you all. This assignment is due Sunday night. All right, take care.